here I am in my basement again. It's almost the end of August and usually at this time of year I try to clean up, clean up my scraps. How do you clean up scraps? Well, you have to make plans to use them. And so I go through my various odds and sods of bins that I have got things collected in. And I try to pick out some of the things that are going to be quilts in the next little while. Quite often there are strips or themes of things that I collect. And one of the things that I was looking at today was things that are sort of kid friendly, kind of odd kid friendly things. I have a strip. That's it. That's all I have of that. I have a little square. <laughs> uh, it's funny what I keep. I have uh, some pumpkins. And uh, oh, what else is here? SpongeBob. But there's not much of any of these things. Now, the one nice thing about kids' prints is they are bright colors. And bright colors are something I like to use. But when you don't have very much of anything, and there's lots of uh, surprises when you look through them, you have to have something that is going to unify some sort of color, I guess, so that when you put it together, it just doesn't look like a bunch of scraps sewn together. It looks like something that's been planned. So I, the ones I just showed you are all very bright. Here's another bunch in the same colors, but they've got white in them. And socks and like skiers. There's a little strip here of, oh, I don't know, owls. So I, I have collected some, some that are all kid friendly, but there's a bright pile and there's a light pile and maybe I need to add something else to it. So I did look around and in my bits and pieces, I had a little bit of this fabric. Now that's going to unify all those bright colors together, a print that has all of those colors in it all the colors of crayons and it still has a code with the colors in it. So I know that I can use virtually any color with it. It's going to be all right. And I think also because there's quite a bit of white in this one, I'm going to go to my white bits and find some white bits that are going to also go along with this. So when I'm sorting things and taking the time and making an effort to figure out what I'm going to do with some of these, I really am thinking about um, not buying new fabric to go with something. I'm trying to figure out how I can be very economical and environmentally conscious to use up the things that I have. And that is one of the main themes of all the quilting that I do. I don't know how some of these fabrics came to me. People have been very generous donating to me and I really appreciate all of the things that they bring to me. 
But, you know, some days it's kind of a brain teaser trying to figure out what to do. And I, I know that must be the same with many people. You have leftover things and you only have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So how do you put them together to make them into something reasonable? Well, I guess it's just a bit of commitment of time. It's not a fast process to sort and to put things together. And sometimes it's more successful than others. Sometimes I put something together and I think, oh, that just looks terrible, but it's a lesson learned. And I know that maybe next time I would do something a little bit different. But overall, I think we really have to be committed as quilters to use the things that we have and not just to toss the pieces left over into a bin and send them to landfill or take them to uh, somebody's doorstep and say, here, you can use it. You have to figure it out for yourself every once in a while and you have to decide, I'm going to make something. I might not like it, but you know, somebody else might like it and you can donate it. That seems to be a reasonable thing for me to do. I like to make these things and then I like to donate them. Uh, but I do have a, a bit of a task. I've moved a few things around in my closet and uh, every time I move them around, I sort things out. Like all of these things that I was getting are little short pieces that were in bins that had bigger pieces. So that's one way of ferreting out things, getting something that you can use right away and it will be successfully used for something. Um, so that's what I'm doing today, moving things around, sorting things out, trying to figure out what projects I should do in the next little while. Anyway, if any of you have good suggestions for how to use up these little bits, kid-friendly things, I think I'm going to uh, figure this very colorful one out with all these bits and pieces pretty soon. I, I have, I, I don't have a lot of rulers, but I do have equilateral triangle and I think because these things are lots of strips, they're, like, they're not very wide, they're not very big, uh, something made of strips and then cut in an equilateral triangle sewed together will be a good idea. Maybe not. Anyway, I hope, hope everyone's doing well. <laughs>